everyone and welcome to my very first YouTube video on my brand new channel. My name is Lisa and I am a blogger at Sea Want Shop. You may have seen me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I have been around on those for quite some time now, but this is my first ever foray into YouTube and it's because of you guys because you've been asking for it for quite some time and I'm finally, finally getting around to it. So thank you for persisting and thank you for asking me to do it. For my very first video today, I thought I would start with my top 10 most asked questions and help you guys get to know me a little bit more. Um, obviously, if you do have any more questions, I'm happy to make this a regular thing. So snap, tweet, email, DM me all of your questions or comment them down here. Um, and I'll do more videos down the track. But today I was gonna start with my top 10 most common that I get asked all the time. So if I look down, it's because I have my list here. So I'm slowly gonna work my way through my 10 questions and hopefully give you guys a little bit more of an insight into who I am. So my first question that I get asked all the time is how I started blogging. So to um, get that story into a little bit of a nutshell for you, I moved to London um, five years ago on a working holiday. I am based in Australia, if you can't tell from my accent, and I got myself a visa and I moved over there, packed my bags, said goodbye to everyone I loved back here in Australia and um, started working and traveling in the UK. And it was whilst I was there that I discovered that blogging existed. I didn't even know that fashion blogging and lifestyle blogging and travel blogging was even something that, that you could do or that, or that people even did. I'd never um, followed any blogs or heard of any bloggers. So it wasn't until I moved to the UK that that kind of area dawned on me and I absolutely loved them. There were some Swedish bloggers that I started following from the get-go when I moved there and I absolutely loved them. And I loved everything about their lives and what they did and I loved following them and I loved getting inspired by what they were wearing and it helped me decide on places to travel to in Europe and um, I absolutely loved um, following them. So I started Instagram and Twitter so I could follow them and see all their photos and follow them on social media and see what they were up to. And at the same time, I wanted to share my um, photos with everyone back home in Australia. Facebook was obviously massive then, um, but Instagram was a nice way of just popping up a little photo um, for my few friends that were on Instagram So um, and putting a cute filter on it. So that's why I started um, an Instagram account. And then from there, I, I started posting, like I said, my travels and then a little bit more about me and, and what I was wearing. And um, people were interested in that. They wanted to know what I was wearing and where I got it from and where I was going and they started following me and it was this crazy new sort of, I suppose, start of something new that I, I didn't realize at the time, but it was this yeah strange feeling that people were interested in what I was doing and what I was wearing and and that people, um, were, yeah, like I said, starting to follow me. So that's basically where it all started. Um, and then I moved back to Australia eventually after living in the UK. And um, I then started, decided to um, start the blog as a creative outlet, as something fun to do on the side. I started getting really into photography and I really liked that um, my followers on social media and Instagram were wanting more than just what I was offering there. So I started the platform just on um, Blogspot at the time and um, from there, yeah, it sort of just grew and here I am what, four or five years later and I am a full-time blogger. How crazy is that? I still can't believe it sometimes, but that's how it all started. Uh, number two, second question, what camera do I use? Well, everyone, prepare to see what my favorite blogging tool in the world is. This is a Canon 5D Mark II with a 50 mil lens, fixed lens, and this is my baby, I love it. Um, I've taught myself how to use it, I've taught my boyfriend how to use it, um, and I've taught my assistant how to use it. So um, it um, is, yeah, my absolute baby and that's what I use to take 90% of my photos um, and then when I'm on the go when I'm traveling I use my iPhone 7 to take photos as well but um, my Canon um, is by far my favorite thing in the world so if you're looking for a good camera that would be my recommendation obviously it's a big one um, I know Canon do smaller compact ones but for really great um, photo content that's my guy third question favorite place that I have visited that's a really tough question I mean, the world is an amazing place and I'm lucky enough to have been to quite a few places in the world. Um, I have just returned from the Maldives and that's really fresh in my mind. So I'm going to say that at the moment, the Maldives is my favorite place in the world because that place is incredible. Photos don't do it justice. You think it's going to be as blue as that and you get there and it's bluer and it's better and it's amazing. And the resorts are incredible and the people are incredible and 
I absolutely love the Maldives. It's everything that I love in a holiday. It has beach, it has sun, and it has time to relax. And when I go on holiday, that's what I love to do. Um, so uh, I'm gonna say the Maldives is my number one place in the world right now. Fourth question, what is the best thing about blogging? There are many things that are great about blogging. Obviously, you know, the travel and, um, and the clothes and the brands I get to work with is, is so incredible and I feel so blessed and so lucky. But I'm gonna say that the people I have met and the friends I have made from blogging is by far the best thing about it. I've made friends from the other side of the globe that I would never have even met um, if it went for social media, if it went for blogging. And, and some of my closest friends are now my friends because of this crazy influencer digital world. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. Um, and it's really expanded my friendship group and um, I couldn't be happier. So that would definitely be my favorite reason. Number five, how did I grow Instagram? I get asked this question twice, three times a day, probably, minimum. Um, people are always wanting to know how to get followers on Instagram and look, there's no recipe and I know people don't like hearing that, but Instagram has changed so much since I've been on it and um, there are algorithms now and it's so, so different to, to the beast that it was back in the day. So the best advice that I can give and that I always give for Instagram is just post really great engaging and organic content. Content that represents you, content that is consistent and that follows a brand and that you love and that is engaging. And um, if it's engaging and amazing as you think it is, then it will be as engaging and as amazing as someone else thinks it is. So um, just persist and post really great content. And that's my number one tip. Number six, tips for starting a successful blog. So I um, would definitely have to say that if you're gonna start a blog, then you need to have a really great space and platform to put that blog on. So get a great web designer and design a really great blog interface. If your web page isn't loading properly or isn't even easy to navigate um, or takes too long to load, then no one's gonna follow your blog or wanna stay on your blog. So if you get the design right, um, then everything else should follow. So that would definitely be my number one tip for having a great successful blog, is have a great design, a unique design, a design that is really user-friendly and that makes people wanna stay on your blog and read more, and that's it. Number seven, my fashion icons. I'm gonna to have to say that from the get-go, from when I was a little girl, my fashion icons have always been Mary-Kate and Ashley. I've always loved their style, their uniqueness, their designs, um, and I've always, always followed their, um, their designs and, and what they have they have designed with their own labels and they've always always been my favorite so I'm definitely gonna have to say that Mary Kate and Ashley were up there and will always be up there as my fashion icons. Where do I get inspiration? Um, I get inspiration from probably the same places that you guys get inspiration so social media is huge for me. Um, Pinterest is really a great one. I love Pinterest and I love Tumblr. They're probably my favorite places to look for for inspiration if I'm needing it. Um, I think there is some really great content, really unique content on those platforms. And um, I tend to use them, I, to be honest, yeah, traditional media, magazines, I don't tend to read them at all anymore. Um, it's all online for me. So uh, I would say Pinterest and Tumblr, and obviously Instagram as well is great for inspiration. What did I study at uni? I get asked this a lot because um, I actually didn't study anything to do with fashion or creativity or photography or graphic design or marketing or PR. Um, I actually studied physiotherapy and I'm a qualified physiotherapist and I think that's one of the reasons I may have ended up blogging is because I started the blog as a creative outlet. I wanted something that was so different to what I was doing nine to five. Um, being a physio is a very scientific health based role um, and I wanted something that had a little bit of flair and then I could let out my creativity side. So that's, uh, that's what I studied at uni and I still work as a physiotherapist um, although blogging is now full time. I, I, I do work casually as a physiotherapist. Um, so it's funny how things work out, but that is what I studied at uni. So often people are really surprised by that, um, which is fair enough, I suppose. Um, but I, I love being a physio and I, um, I will always be a physio. I will never give it up completely. My favorite fashion labels. This is my last question. I get asked this all the time. I'm gonna say that my favorite fashion labels are the fifth label, which is what I'm wearing right now, actually. This beautiful, uh, number, great for uh, the coming colder months. The fifth label are fantastic, they're Australian, um, and they do amazing pieces. They do great basics, they do great dresses, they do great denim. Um, I love everything about the fifth label, and like I said, I love that they're Australian and I can support an Australian designer. 
Um, I'm also a huge, huge fan of Anina Bing. She's based in LA and she does the best leather ever in the entire world. Um, her leather pieces are incredible and she has a real eye for design and I love, love her pieces. Zimmerman would also be up there as, as one of my favorites. Um, always has been and always will be. They just do the most beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, so they would probably be my, my top three um, favorite labels. And that brings me to the end of my 10 questions. So hopefully you enjoyed those. I hope that you got to learn a little bit about me. Um, please, please, please subscribe to my new channel. I would love to have you. Um, hopefully you can do some really fun, exciting things along the way. Um, obviously if you have any ideas for videos that you want me to film, then please, please um, Snapchat me or tweet me or DM me or email me and let me know what your ideas are. And um, to say thank you for um, watching this video today and to hopefully encourage you to subscribe to my new channel, I am going to be running a giveaway. So once we get to 1,000 subscribers, I will pick someone to win um, a beauty pack that I have compiled, which is pretty great. I mean, if I was going to be in a competition, I'd be wanting to win it. So I'll run you through exactly what is in the pack. And if you love it, and if you're like me, then you can subscribe and hopefully you will be the winner. So thank you so much for um, watching this video today. And I'm going to head over to where I've laid out the uh, giveaway and you can see exactly what you can get. And now for the fun part, giveaway time. I'm going to run you through exactly what you guys get to win um, if you subscribe. Once you get to 1,000, I'm going to give away uh, this to one of you lucky followers. So first up, we have these awesome Pro Plenish face masks, which are really nice. Um, a contouring kit and highlighting cream from Australis. A couple of um, Urban Decay powder foundations in medium light and light. So um, Urban Decay, obviously amazing. So no need to explain those. Um, Clinique Deep Comfort Body Butter, which is seriously the most delicious moisturizer ever. Um, the Gemologica Skin Hydrating Mask for your face, which is beautiful. Um, we have some uh, Gradual Tan from um, the Bronzer. These are uh, Ramel um, cute little nail polish set in this cute little peachy color, which is nice. Frank, who's like my favorite guy in the world. Um, if you haven't met Frank, then you need to meet Frank. He's amazing. So um, he's in there because he's so much fun and he's the best. Um, a few Grown Alchemist products. So we have the toner from Grown Alchemist, the Hydra Mist from Grown Alchemist, and the eye cream from Grown Alchemist. Grown Alchemist. So they're amazing products if you haven't come across Grown Alchemist before. Um, some Aveda... Um, Balancing Body Mist, why not? Some um, Instant Tan BB Skin Perfector from Ramel. Um, a Cosmia Youth Boost um, Rose Hip Oil. Rose Hip Oil's really, really nice if you haven't used it before. Um, we've got some Aveda Hand Cream. Can't go wrong with Aveda. Uh, Clinique Deep Comfort Body Wash. Beautiful, that's a really good size for traveling as well. Ah, uh, Moroccan oil. Who doesn't love Moroccan oil? So I've got in there the dry shampoo, which I use all the time. I have it in a little pack, which I travel with, which is amazing. And the Moroccan oil treatment, which, that's like this staple product. So if you have never tried that, then I think you should. Um, we've got some uh, mascara from Max Factor. I've got one of these um, like beauty blenders. So um, to blend in your um, foundation with, cute little beauty blender. Um, some body exfoliator from Clinique. A uh, Makeup Forever Eye Pencil in this like navy blue color. Um, these are great Model Co Tan Exfoliator Wipes. So they're these wipes that um, will exfoliate your skin before you need to tan. Fake tan, that is. Absolutely brilliant. Um, from Panna Chocolate, a body scrub, which is really, really fun. And last but not least, um, this um, Arthur Gallon Candle, which, if I open it up, smells like, ooh, like lavender. Beautiful. And that is the last product in there. So if you want to win all of those products, um, make sure you subscribe. So click the subscribe button below. I'm going to put a photo of everything that you can win um, on my Facebook and on my Twitter and on my Insta story and on my Snapchat. So you can see exactly all the products. Um, and when we get to a thousand, I'll draw a winner. But thank you for watching my first ever video. It was so lovely to have you. Um, if you have any ideas for other videos you want to see, then please, please, please let me know. Tweet me, DM me, email me whatever it may be, and um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to make heaps more because it's going to be so much fun. So thank you, and bye.